out YouTube. We're on the Caprice once again. Uh, we're going to be working on the other side of the trunk lid. I'm going to get another coat of primer on it. That way that should take care of the uh, trunk. Should be good to go. We just have to block it. Prep it for paint when the time comes. After that, we're going to get in there and start working on them floor pans. Hopefully I got enough sheet metal. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll do what we can. If I have to get some more, I will. But right now, we're going to get this trunk ready. And then as soon as we get done with it, get the primer on it. We're going to jump inside start cutting the floor out. All right, I went ahead and got a couple of the patch pieces made, got them in, got them partially welded up right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get those welded, and then we're going to move on to the other pieces of the floor. I just went ahead and did this because it's probably the easiest floorboard to fix. Uh, it just had two bad spots in it, so I made some pieces real quick. Got them somewhat partially welded. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get them welded up, and then we're going to move on to another floorboard. 
Uh, got to make some more pieces. Got to cut some more out. We'll get them put in and go from there. If you're wondering why when I weld this I'm not running a solid bead, well, kind of got a couple of small gaps. Uh, it's not going to hurt anything. I mean, as long as you weld it up, you weld it up good, it's not going to bother anything at all. Uh, but I do have a few small gaps around the edges. So that's why I'm triggering it, I'm not running a solid bead. But Either way, it's going to be strong, you know, way better than a run it out floor. It's not going to go nowhere. Not to mention, we'll, you know, clean it up. We still got to, we'll have to undercoat the bottom side to protect it from rust again. We'll probably have to do the whole floor on the bottom side. So, uh, just a little FYI. But uh, I'm going to get back to welding this, try to get this thing finished up. Most of the floor put back in, with the exception of the passenger rear right here. Looks a little bit crazy. I don't know, it's kind of odd, but uh, I'm, I got enough sheet metal to do it. I'm just going to have to cut it out in sections. I'm not going to be able to do a whole piece. Um, but we're going to get it took care of. We got the driver front end tacked in, got to weld it up. Passenger front, still got to weld up. It's in there. Now the bad thing is I found two more places on the passenger side front. Uh, I'm gonna have to cut out. One's up toward the firewall. One's actually right in front of a piece I've already put in. And this is the one up in the firewall. We gotta get that one cut out, get it replaced. And then the other one is right there. And yeah, I got a little grinder happy when I cut that one out. But I'll get it welded up. It won't be no big deal. So we got to get those two places cut out and replaced. Uh, I got to finish up this passenger rear. Uh, I'm out of time, so we're going to be working on that next week. I was hoping to get it done this week. It's not going to happen. 
Uh, I'll be going out of town Saturday. So probably Sunday if I don't have anything going on. Probably work on it some more. Definitely Monday. Um, after I get everything welded up, I'm get some primer on it, get some paint on it. That way it don't rust again. Now as far as what we work on next, uh, after we finish the floors up, I may go ahead and fiberglass the dash. I'm not sure. Uh, still need to get the hood over there. And you get the underside of it. At least the underside of it and primer. Uh, that way we can go ahead and get it ready for your paint. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I do kind of want to play with some fiberglass though, so we might be doing the dash next week after we get done on the floor. Might. Uh, just have to watch and find out. But uh, if you like the video, if you want to see more of the build, you know, consider subscribing, drop a like, drop a comment. Uh, let me know what you think about it. But uh, that's it. See you next time. Thank you.